In this video, we'll look at system settings and optimizations to help you get the best audio performance from your PC. We recommend you spend a few minutes to review these settings before working with your Apollo Twin USB. For more information, visit the UA Knowledge Base. Default USB power management settings can interfere with audio interface stability, so we recommend modifying these settings to keep the bus controller powered up at all times. Open Device Manager and double-click Universal Serial Bus Controllers to view the individual controller devices list. Double-click on the first USB root hub in the list to view its properties. Open the Power Management tab and uncheck the box next to Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power box, then click OK. Repeat this for all USB root hub devices. Windows system sounds can interrupt audio from your DAW, so we suggest disabling them to avoid potential conflicts with recording. From the control panel, select Sound. Open the Sounds tab and set the sound scheme to No Sounds, then click Apply and OK. When you use UAD plugins with Pro Tools 11 or later, the first time you launch Pro Tools after running the installer, you'll see a dialog indicating UAD AAX64 plugins have failed to load. You can safely dismiss the dialog with No. After dismissing it, quit and relaunch Pro Tools, and it will be ready to use normally. This will occur on the first launch each time after the UAD software is upgraded. There are normally two audio systems used by Windows computers. System sounds like beeps and notifications use the WDM system, while DAW programs usually use ASIO. Normally, the two subsystems can use the same audio hardware, as long as they're configured properly. In order to work properly, the ASIO and WDM sample rates must be set the same. If the ASIO and WDM sample rates are not the same, audio from one or more programs will not be heard. When changing WDM sample rates, be sure to set the sample rate in the Apollo console settings before setting the sample rates in Windows. If the DAW sample rate is changed, the WDM sample rate must be changed as well to match the DAW sample rate. You may need to close and reopen audio apps after the sample rate has been changed within Windows. In general, if an audio program has the option of using either ASIO or WDM, using the ASIO option is recommended for optimum performance. Other settings can be adjusted to further optimize your PC, so be sure to read the complete Knowledge Base article for more information.